Here is how to use socialmarker.com to bookmark your website on 29 of the very best social bookmarking services on the internet. All you have to do is simply fill in this form and you're ready to get started. For this demonstration, we're going to use the articleset.com blog of the week contest. The first step is to give your bookmark a catchy title, as this is often the first thing users look for. Next, type in the link to the site that you want to bookmark. After you have done so, write a short description of the site so that other users may decide if they want to visit it or not. As this is the Blog of the Week contest, we are announcing the start of round 2, as well as encouraging users to vote for their favorite blog. Finally, fill in the Tags field to make searching for your specific bookmark a lot easier. That's it, that's all you have to do on this site. Click the Submit button, lay back in your chairs, and watch the magic happen. You'll notice in the lower left corner of the screen that our site is already busy pre-populating fields on all of the social bookmarking services you have selected. We're currently on the first of 26 such services, Netscape.com. You'll notice that the link, title, summary, and tags fields have already been completed. All that's left to do is choose a channel, for example news, and then click check my story. The rest is a formality. If you aren't registered to one of the services, you may do so by using the register button. If you are registered but you aren't logged in, you can do this using the login button. You will only have to log in once. If you by any chance stray away from the submission page, for example by clicking the frequently asked questions link, you may go back to the submission page at any time by clicking the submit button on the upper toolbar of our site. Although this will take you back to the submission page, you'll notice that only the link, title, summary, and tags fields are completed. You'll need to choose the channel again. Some services will not allow pre-populating of certain fields. Let's say that the tags field was left empty on this site. This is why you have the title, link, text, and tags fields on the bottom page of your screen. If you need to re-add the tags, simply click on them and then drag them back to the tags field. It's as easy as that. We hope you enjoyed this demonstration and we hope you enjoy using our service. Good luck!